Hello everybody, we're coming to you today from Wilson's Prom. Wilson's Promontory National Park here in Victoria, only a couple of hours outside of Melbourne. And this place is so special, it is absolutely amazing. And But it is also huge, so I'm not going to be able to do a full walkthrough video here. I'll have to uh, stitch a couple together, but... Let me take you for a quick walk and explain as much as I can. You drive about 40 kilometres into uh, Wilson's Prom. Once you reach the National Park, uh, it's, it's about probably about 30 kilometres drive into this area here, which provides the visitor's car park on the right-hand side and the information centre here on the left. I'd love to have been able to give an overall video with the drone but being both national park and uh, a busy campground with lots of people you can't fly over it as it either and I probably can't push the boundaries of a, a drone here in uh, in Wilson's National Park so I won't be doing that so as I mentioned you first arrive and after you've come past some of the magnificent beaches you will see the information centre here on the left hand side. Drop into there and talk to the guys, grab some maps, get some ideas on where to go and they will show you around. Beautiful Adele, she's ready to go for a walk. And here on the right hand side this is the visitors car park as I mentioned. Now that road that we were just on there with the information centre it continues on and follows right the way around to more campgrounds, which is uh, further around and where we are, uh, near Normans Beach. Here on the right, though, this is uh, Tidal River Campground. And there's, I think, something like 480 campsites here, so it's absolutely huge. Plenty of facilities. There's... There's actually a, uh, what's that, um, the grocery store over here. There's an outdoor cinema with uh, a movie on tonight. There's takeaways and uh, there's, for facilities, there is a dump point here. Plenty of toilets. I, we haven't been in to check on I imagine there'll be showers in there, barbecues everywhere and all those things that you would normally expect uh, there is a very small amount of powered sites but uh, they're very very limited and hard to get a hold of so this is the tidal, air, tidal uh, river camp area and it looks like those guys have got some taps around on some of those sites there that's actually that looks like the powered sites there straight ahead is where we were just videoing uh, the information center just down there on the right toilet block here on the left and further over towards the river there's another toilet block as well you might be able to make that out down the end of the road down there so this is all the tidal river campground now on my left over on the right various offices and uh, and accommodation and as I mentioned there's also a theatre which has uh, got a movie on tonight another 200 metres further up the road and we make it to here on our left this is most of this area is for school camping Monday to Friday there's quite a few school kids here at the moment. I would imagine that's fairly normal. But in saying that, with school holidays next week, it's probably a prime time. More toilet back blocks just back behind me on the right-hand side. On the right, there's a public car park, barbecues, and heaps more. When we walk around here, this is the... Uh, 25th Avenue, this is at the front. Now, cost to stay here. Two adults, one night, unpowered. 
no water is sixty-one dollars and forty cents. You is it was there any discount? There was no discounts, was there? No discounts at all. So it is it isn't cheap, but unfortunately it is what it is, and this is a magnificent location. It's $72.50 for a powered site. $72.50 for a powered site. Let me take you for a walk of these camp sites over on this side. This is the reason why we choose, chose to come over to here. Uh, there's a shower there as you come up off the beach. And that was dripping water last night. And there was a wombat. And he was having a good old drink. I have got Telstra coverage. Uh, my Vodafone, I have got Vodafone coverage through the Optus network, but not with Vodafone itself. Of course, it is national park, so no pets are allowed, and I don't believe generators are either, and no fires. Now, I'll go for a walk down this track and show you the beach. Magnificent location. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you for the next one soon. Cheers, bye.